Tribes has been a leader in the management of salmon stocks in the Pacific region for a long time. The Tulalip Tribes has a very high success rate in our terminal fishery. Over 95% of the fish that are caught in our commercial fishery actually come from the hatchery where we produce them here on the reservation. At the lab, we identify and analyze DNA samples, odalis samples, coated wire tags, and other important pieces of data that help in the management of salmon stocks in our area. An otolith is really a collection of calcium in the inner ear of a salmon. The otolith grows every single day. It creates a ring. That ring is similar to the yearly ring on a tree. By changing the water temperature in the incubation trays at our salmon hatchery, we can slow the growth of that otolith and create dark bands. When we recover the otoliths from juveniles or adults, we can then cast them in a clear casting resin, polish them, and look at them under a microscope. Because each year and each species has an identifiable mark, we can then tell if those fish came from our hatchery or another hatchery. Essentially, a coated wire tag gets at the same idea as an otolith does. They have a six-digit code imprinted on them, and each hatchery, each brood year of fish, and each species of fish gets its own unique code. And when we recover those coated wire tags in the fishery or the hatchery or the natural escapement, we can bring them back to the lab and then we can tell which hatchery they came from. If we don't know how many of our fish are returning, we don't know what our survival rates are like. We don't know if the fish that we're producing are coming back at all. And then the other part of it is it's part of our co-management responsibilities with the state and federal governments. We are obligated to show that our hatchery fish are not straying and creating competition for wild spawners in the natural habitat. We want to be sure that the fish that we catch in our terminal fishery are the fish that we produce at our hatchery for that purpose. What we're doing at the Stock Assessment Lab is the science that allows us to express our treaty rights. It allows us to continue to fish and hunt and gather in our usual and accustomed grounds. And without that, we lose the people that we are. This work allows that to continue.